we're gonna just skip ahead and end this video very soon. I just want, there's one last thing I want to try. I notice I'm not using the stool. Um, yesterday I decided because of my guitar strap that the stool wasn't necessary, but maybe it is. <laughs> in a heavy manner, uh, and that's my left hand. This is my right hand which I use for picking. And the way I'm trying to pick where you go like that, uh, I don't know if you understood what I meant by that, but anyways, the way I'm picking like that, you basically have to use a light hand. Um, the harder you push, just messes up, especially if you go, you see what I mean? You, you go, you go note and stop, and then you want another note, but now your pick is halfway down to the base of the guitar, and so when you go for the next note, you just slip. Um, yeah, and I just thought I'd articulate that. So back to this, um, you know, articulation, even if it's, even if I'm saying stuff you already know, you have to realize it's helping me learn. to believe in the supernatural and by that I say like if, if you're a skeptic like if you're an atheist and I've had many years being an atheist but think about the idea of um, unless you're some kind of super genius you probably don't know how every single part of your computer that you're watching this on how every single part works why it works and why it works together and even if you do understand that, the software that they designed, no one, I don't think anyone, there's probably a few people out of the seven billion people on the planet, but there are very few people who fully understand how the computer works. And of course you can just say, yeah, well, I could figure it out if I wanted to through science. I have, but that's a level of faith. And every time you encounter faith within yourself, you have to realize you're functioning as a religious person. Um, anyways, I just thought I'd say that. Uh, and I'm going to shut up about it now. So anyways, um, something supernatural. Um, you know, once you allow yourself to believe uh, in... Not, not fully believe. I mean, obviously my core is atheism, but once you allow yourself to to entertain the idea that there may be supernatural things. Um, 
you can have it as like a half thought, if that makes sense. Like, I know that another cup of coffee will be bad for me, and that's, that's the logical, real world. But you also know it might be bad if you don't have a cup of coffee. Coffee drinkers know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm just rambling and uh, I'll get back to work. ago, maybe three, no I think it's two, next month I'll start saying three, I mean it's the 27th or the 28th today, so. My point is I've been um, fighting, not fighting, but you know struggling to learn these chords which are you know, essentially more complex than the bass chords that I started learning. These chords are starting to feel um, more on my level, um, so I'm making progress, but my point is I've been working very hard for a long time on this, and a more advanced guitar player would have it down by now, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, le I'm learning. This is going to sound really bad. Just attempt what I'm trying to do. Ten seconds of the song, <laughs> but those those chords, those four chords, um, uh, two shapes, four chords, um, they are pretty fundamental to the song. So I'm happy about that. And uh, another thing is something that appears um, within the song, and I don't know at what point, but I just. I decided to learn another. I knew there were more chords in the song, and I wanted to know how you did them, so I asked my friend to help. And it's either this one, or it's this one. And she goes past it really fast. I just paused the video at a random point when she does a chord shift from those four fundamentals to, I think she does a C. It looks, it really looks like at least the shape of a C that I know, um, but it's further down the fret, so I don't know what it actually is. Anyways, those two chords that I just did were E7 slash D and E B, and um, it's just the difference between one of them has an extra open uh, note. And an open note for absolute beginners, that 
always an open strum, if you get the idea. So that's an open note because I'm not pressing down on anything. Ah, so I feel good. I feel relieved that I uh, practiced today. And uh, it's only 4.37 and I've been going to sleep at like 8 a.m. So who knows, maybe I'll practice again today. But I made it. Um, and...